I sometimes feel that even the smallest and least capable receiver can do a pretty decent job given the right conditions. So I thought it'd be interesting to compare the response of four different types of receivers with different sensitivities and how they react in the medium wave environment. In this video, I'm going to compare the cheapest radio, the Retekis V115, which only cost me about $15, uh, to the Texan PL600, the Sony ICF SW7600GR, and my Yaesu FT891. The additional step I'm looking at is to use the Texan AN200 passive loop antenna to see how it affects the response of each of the receivers. Now one important consideration is the Yezu FT891 does not have an internal ferrite antenna and is using an external long wire antenna. All right, first up is the Retekis V115. As you can hear, the Retekis has a significant amount of internal noise and is not very sensitive. However, when the AN200 is placed near it, the Retekis actually becomes a pretty good performer. Uh, the station you hear initially is WHB in Kansas City, about 500 miles from my location. And when I moved the antenna, you were probably getting, and in this case, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure it was WGY in Schenectady, New York. The uh, WHB station is broadcasting at 5,000 watts, and WGY is, is a clear, clear channel station broadcasting at 50,000 watts. All right, and then next up is the Texan PL600. What's interesting about the PL600 is that it is pretty sensitive in the medium wave without any additional antenna or loop antenna or passive antenna. Uh, in the case when I add the uh, AN200, actually from about a foot away, it starts affecting the PL600. So it does do a very good job of nulling out both noise and enhancing the signal. And even when I moved it uh, into the east-west position on top of the radio, you could tell that it was also nulling out uh, the stronger signal in that case. Uh, but uh, I would say with the AN200, the PL600 performs very, very well. Next up, the Sony. Yeah. 
they've taken that to heart. And, uh, you know, when we do that, game books don't shoot it good. Uh, you know, we still have been able to, you know, come out on, on the, with the duck, uh, just by going on that end and rebounding. And, uh, you Now, Sony is a really good performing medium wave radio, and actually its built-in ferrite antenna is, is quite good, it, and you can see that the AN200 barely makes any effect on that receiver. Um, the only time I could tell is when I could null out the signal in the upper right corner of the radio and nulled out the signal a little bit, but I was never able to identify any other signal other than the Kansas City Station in that case. So as a just a standalone radio, the Sony is very sensitive on medium wave and a very good uh, <clears throat> medium wave night radio if you wanted to use it for uh, medium wave DX. And finally, just as a final comparison, the Yaesu FT891, again, not a very fair comparison. Uh, being on a long wire, I can't use the loop in this case, but it's just interesting to see how a long wire uh, performs on a high-end receiver. Alright, thank you for watching and enjoy Medium Wave.